in the last video, we talked about the RSX and the damage that we incurred when we hit something on the freeway. If you haven't seen that video, I urge you to go back and watch that other one. Otherwise, some things may not make sense in this video. Otherwise, enjoy. This is, uh, what was the title of the last video I had? I can't, I can't remember what the title was, but either way, this is, uh, part two. It's been about two weeks since the car got dropped off at the body shop, and we have now gone through all of the throws of everything. The original estimate from the insurance company called for repairs of a lot of panels that couldn't be repaired. The hood, which we knew because it was creased, and we know what happens when hoods crease. Once you fold a hood, there's no coming back. So the hood was one of them. The bumper, I thought, like in my mind, it could be salvaged because it's not that bad. Um, but they did quote to replace it, which, I mean, I have one, but hold on. I'm looking, I'm, <laughs> I'm low-key looking for my tripod. I don't know where it went. Okay, so the hood was damaged. They need to be replaced. The bumper needed to be replaced. Uh, the fender needed to be replaced. The mirror obviously needs to be replaced because it's not even there. It's missing. So at this point, between the bumper, the hood, the fender, the mirror, and the headlight, which the headlight wasn't part of the original, they added that to the, the estimate. All five of these things, uh, and the addition or the, the modification of the, the bumper, the uh, the, the, the hood and the headlight, uh, bump the damage cost from $2,100 to $3,500. Now, if you've ever been looking in the market for an RSX Type S in good condition, you will know that these things can go $46,000 pretty easily, depending on how clean it is, paint condition, um, interior condition, uh, and it, it, the modifications are kind of a dice roll because either you like the modifications and you buy it because it has some modifications you're already going to do or you look for one that has never been modified. Mine is pretty mildly modified but it has high miles and the paint's kind of shot. Either way, that $3,500 was enough to push it over the limit and the car is officially totaled. So there's a couple of options that could be had from here. One, we let it go to the scrapyard, and they will give us, I think, what, what was the total? $4,195.56, of which they've already paid $1,500 of, you know, and obviously subtract your deductible, which mine's 500 bucks. Or we could buy the car back from them for like 950 bucks, keep it the car as it is, and just have them tow it home. All right, so as you can see, the car is not happy at all. <laughs> um, we already knew this, though. It is severely unhappy. 
as we can see clearly so it is extremely hot right now thanks to Arizona being hot but we're going to we're gonna get busy on things we're gonna start ripping uh, the car apart we're gonna rip out the what's left of the fender liner put the new fender on um, I think the, the core support or the, the bumper cover is coming off so we're gonna go ahead and uh, We're gonna get this hopefully very quickly here back in ship shape and uh, get it good to um, get painted. We're gonna take the car, we're gonna get painted. Um, I gotta order some parts for it. We're gonna try and get all that rocking quickly. I think what we're gonna end up doing for the hood is, is we're going to get a carbon fiber hood. I think we're just going to rock the stock fenders for now. Possibly, uh, it's also possible that we might just go get carbon fiber as well. But that's a phone call for Sabon. I also think the core support is going to get replaced. But that's a conversation for another, another shot. So, there's a lot of, lot of stuff up in the air right now. <laughs> I know that these are bent to some degree. I just don't know how bad. This is super depressing, but I guess stay tuned because now <laughs> instead of building the car, we're rebuilding the car. Gross. Now that's going to come off. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to figure out what the game plan is. And, uh, yeah. Figure it out. Stay tuned.